Hi guys, for today's video, I will teach you how to back up the recordings of your DVR using flash drive. But before that, if you are new to our channel, please to subscribe and hit the notification bell and be updated to our next content. So without further ado, let's go! First, format your flash drive to FAT32 and make sure that it's not more than 32GB. Because if it's higher than 32GB, then you cannot format it as FAT32. But I will also teach you how to format FAT32 on a higher capacity flash drive for external storage. We are going to use a free software to make it work. Go to isas.com and download the software and install it. You can upgrade it to pro version, but in my case, the feature that I need is available on the free version. Okay, now plug your flash drive or external storage to your PC and open the software. Then click on the disk that you want to format in FAT32. Then on the right side, Click Format and change the file system to FAT32 and hit OK. Now we have one task in queue. Just click the Execute task and click Apply. Alright, we can now back up the footage on the DVR. Connect your flash drive or external storage on the DVR. So on the DVR, click Start and go to Search and Backup. Now there are options where we can choose how you can back up footage in an easy way. We have time sliced image, smart search, by time, and by event. Let's start with the by time sliced image first. Okay, now we see that the camera footage is sorted by date. Just choose one and click open. Now the footage we chose will be divided into one hour. So each clip that we see has a one hour duration. Or you can also divide it by minute if the footage you need does not last an hour. Then select one from the footage and click backup. Then locate the folder you created and click backup. Okay, let's try now with by time. Set the date which you want to backup. Okay, at the bottom, just add a camera. You can add up to four cameras, which means you can backup four footage at the same time. But on this video, I only use two cameras since this is a tutorial only. Now on the timeline, you will see the recorded footage of selected cameras. Just highlight the footage from the start to the end of scene. Don't get confused by the color, it just shows how it was recorded. You can zoom the timeline so you can easily highlight the footage you want to backup. Or click set backup time to get the exact time of footage you want to backup. Then click backup. Locate okay, the folder you created and click backup. Alright, here the footage is sorted by event. So if the footage you need was recorded because the motion or sensor was triggered, you can see it more easily because it's already sorted. Adjust the date and time based on what you want. You can choose more than one camera depending on how many you want to back up. Now, you can see the camera footage sorted by event type. You can uncheck the event and check only what you want to see. Let's say the footage you want to back up is the one that triggered because a motion was detected. Then check the box on the right side to back up the footage you want and click back up. Then locate the folder you created and click back up again. You can also search and back up in playback. For me, it's simpler and faster way to back up a footage. Just set the date and time. Then highlight the footage on the timeline and hit backup. Locate okay, the folder you created and click backup. I hope you learned something today and leave a comment if you have any question. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell so you will be updated. I'm EJ of Pinoy. See ya!